stop. Clear everything in your mind that you think this video is going to be. Because I want you to pay attention clearly to what this modern female is about to say in this video. Listen closely. So guys, going to talk for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the whole Passport Bros. And I'm starting to see a little bit of a difference now. Now that I've kind of dabbled into this whole movement. You know, like I said, I don't have any problems with the Passport Bros. They are legitimately men who are trying to get into this movement because they are tired of women, modern westernized women, who don't want to respect them and as a result they are resorting to going out of their country and looking for love and looking for relationships but what i'm also starting to see now is there are some brothers who are kind of jumping on this passport bro movement with ulterior motives and hidden agendas and are starting to make this passport bro movement look bad and I'll be honest with you, it's starting to look like some of these passport bros are looking like passport hoes, okay? They're going there and they're not being sincere, they're not being legitimate, they're not being transparent. They're pretty much glorified sex tourists and they're not trying to be there for the long haul, wanting to learn the culture about the respective females that they are trying to pursue in other countries. And then you get passport bros who really legitimately, they want to get out and find women of other countries because they're tired of the women in America or in other Western um, countries, okay? And I had a friend of mine um, on TikTok, um, Pharaoh XX, you know, shout out my man. You know, when I saw his last video where he was like, he didn't want to be associated, you know, with the passport bros. He's not a passport bro. He's a black expat. Because I think in his mind, he said he didn't want to be associated with the negative stigma that's coming with being called a passport bro. Because some of y'all guys are really doing shady and shitty things. And it's spoiling it for the rest of them who are truly for the movement. And they're trying to be for the movement for positive reasons. Some of y'all men, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. And as a result, it's starting to have negative connotations and negative impact where y'all start looking like dummies. You start looking like fools. And you, 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 you're starting to um, crumble and um, you, you, you're trying to negatively um, tarnish the movement. I'm for passport bros that legitimately are trying to go out there and I support y'all. You choose who you want. But when you start becoming a passport hoe, jumping on the passport bro movement, that's a problem. Wrong, wrong, wrong. See, did you all notice what she just did? See, on my channel, what I do is I speak about language shifting a lot. Because this is one of the tools that modern females use all the time. They shift the language to try to make it fit whatever narrative that they want. Now, look at what it is that she did. Back in the day, and I say back in the day because they shift so quickly. These modern females started attacking passport bros and calling them passport pookies. But see, what happened was because they were calling them passport pookies, people instantly saw, oh, well, you're just angry. That's all it is. You're just mad because you can't compete. So they were pushing this negative connotation of passport bros. Now, what did this female come in and do? She came in and did the soft version of passport pookies. Did you notice it? Think about it for a second. What did she do exactly? She went from doing the blatant passport pookie to uh, i'm gonna do kind of the the resume the cover letter sandwich type thing where i'm gonna say something nice then i'm gonna say the thing i really wanted to say so what did she do she said hey this passport bro movement is about you know them, them wanting to go overseas because these females in america aren't treating them right then she shifted to but there are some of you all 
i.e. passport pookies, who are going over there for sex tourism, and you all are making the passport bros movement look really, really bad. Oh, so now she's trying to say, oh, yeah, some y'all are doing this for a good reason, but then there are some of y'all who, you know, you all are kind of messing up the movement. Then what did she do? She tried to throw in the whole thing that people do when like racist people be like, well, I, I have a, a black friend or whatever. What did she do? She said, oh, well, I talked to this one guy and I have respect for him. And he said he didn't want to be associated with you all. You know what she's doing there? The language shifting that she's done is taking it from passport pookie, direct bull crap to, well, no, the passport bros movement, you know, it's, it's generally okay, but it's starting to now look bad. You all should probably do what this other guy did. Don't listen to me. Listen to him because he's one of you all. He's a male. See, he thinks it's bad too. He doesn't want to be associated. Bull crap. She's doing this soft passport pookie bull crap. That's what she's doing. Doesn't matter how much he tries to make it look like it's something else. It's not. Keep doing your thing, passport bros, because they're getting so desperate to where they're now trying to say that the movement is okay, but you should kind of shift a little. The same thing modern females do in relationships. They get with you because you're this one type of guy, and then they say, you should start changing to this other type of guy that I've been told by society that I should like. And then when you shift to that guy, they no longer like you. Don't listen to them. Keep doing your thing, Passport Bros.